all for joining us. Um, just a friendly reminder to hit the raise hand icon if you'd like to ask a question, and that'll allow us to open up your mic. Uh, and just also please state your name and affiliation to just quickly introduce yourselves to Gaga as well. That would be great. Um, with that, we'll start things off with Brian Sandalo. Go ahead, Brian. Uh, hi, Gaga. Brian Sandalo sometimes. Uh, nice to talk to you. Congratulations. Hey, Brian. Thanks for having me, and uh, thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best of luck uh, when uh, on uh, the next steps. But anyway, uh, over the last year, so much has happened to you. You know, you start, you know, you become a starter with the fire. There's the whole thing with U the U.S. and Poland, and now this. How do you put in perspective everything that's happened to you in almost exactly the last calendar year? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a journey for sure, and um, you know, I'm super excited that you know I feel like I can use it as my, you know, on my platforms and everything to show and inspire people that, you know, a lot can change in a year if you, if you dedicate, you know, your whole life to, you know, being successful and trying to better yourself every day. But yeah, it's, it's been a hectic year, but that's the, that's the sport I play. That's the life that I want to live. So yeah, I'm super grateful and super honored that what's happened has happened. So yeah, hopefully we can keep on, you know, going in the right direction. All right, great. Thanks, Gaga. Next, we'll go to Alex Calabrese from SB Nation. Go ahead, Alex. Hey, Gaga. Congrats once again on the move. We can't wait to see you in a Chelsea shirt. Was there anything in particular about Chelsea that made it a favorable destination for you? And throughout the whole transfer process, have you spoken to any current or former Chelsea players like your national team teammate, Christian Pulisic? Hey, Alex. Thanks for thanks for having me. Um, you know, I think obviously Chelsea is one of the is one of the biggest clubs in the world and they play in the Premier League so you know it's it was a no-brainer for me to want to join that team you know such a massive club with so much history and you know the things they've done in the in the past years has, has truly been been amazing so it's um it's an incredible honor to be joining the club and everything and when I landed in in um in London I actually spoke with Christian and just told him that you know I'd be I would be joining the club hopefully after the medical had passed so yeah, you know, I, I spoke with him and he told me that he's super, super happy that that I'm going to be joining the club. So, yeah, I mean, it was it was a no brainer for me to join Chelsea because of the you know development that I'll be able to get there and, you know, be with such a club is, is truly an honor. Great. Thanks, Gaga. We'll go next to Larry Hawley. Go ahead, Larry. Hey, Gaga, thanks for the time and congratulations. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, Brian had mentioned it's been almost exactly a calendar year since you made your debut with the fire. In what ways do you feel like you've grown both as a soccer player and a person in that time? Hey, Larry, uh, thanks for having me. Um, you know, as a person, it's, it's, you know, I think I've, I've matured a lot. You know, it's I've become a starter now, so you have to sort of do things a little bit differently, make sure you're taking care of your body in ways that you weren't when you weren't a starter because you obviously want to be match fit on the day of the game. So I think in, in as a person, I think I grew up to, I grew up to, you know, be more mature and obviously deal with, deal with uh, the struggles in my career because, you know, a career is going to be going up and down and everything. And I think it's all about how you can bounce back from those mistakes and use them to better yourself. And as a player, you know, it's, it's a lot of experience that I've gained on the field. You know, if it's different training and training and games are completely different, you can train as, as much as you want, but having that game experience, I think is most important. So as a game, as a player, I think I gained a lot of experience of how to manage games, you know, what positions to put myself to, to make a good save and where I need to be and how to read players. So I think as a, as a person and a player, I've, I've matured and, and grown a lot in the past year. Thank you. Charles Bohm. Hey, Gaga, this is Charles Bohm from MLSsoccer.com. It's a pleasure to speak with you today, and congrats. Hey, Charles, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. I was wondering if you could share uh, a little bit of what um, the uh, Chelsea officials have told you, kind of their general expectations. I know a lot can change in the next few months, but what do you, do you, do you know what your first few months of the club will be like? Are you preparing for, for a loan stint, that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, a, a lot can change. But, um, you know, right now, obviously, I'm back on loan with the Chicago Fire, so my focus is going to be on bringing us to the playoffs and uh, lifting that MLS Cup in the, at the end of the year. But, yeah, I'm going to be joining, hopefully joining them in the, uh, January 1st. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a journey from here till then. So I think the most important is just, just finishing the year with the Fire strong and, you know, hopefully bringing a cup back to the, to the beautiful city. 
And just one follow up for me. What do you see as you know the next steps you want to take in your career in terms of your individual skills? Do you have a, a sort of a sense of goals? It seems like you're a goal oriented guy who who is who's analytical in that way. Yeah, I mean, I think I I need to work on everything. You know, jumping for to the Premier League is is a huge step. So I think I'm going to be focusing on every little part of my game, analyzing every game, every training session to, you know, make sure I'm improving as much as possible, as quick as possible, because, you know, obviously I want to I wanna show that I'm ready once I get there. So I think that, you know, focusing on, you know, the video sessions after games, after trainings, to make sure I'm improving in every single aspect, because I think that, you know, I have lots of things to work on. So um, I think I'll always have things to work on, but yeah, just preparing myself the best I can when the time comes. Paul Banks, go ahead. Hi, Gaga. Thanks for doing this. Paul M. Banks with SportsBank.net. It's really interesting in the sense that uh, going to a foreign team that has an American owner and also, you know, maybe the most uh, currently uh, most recognizable player on the American national team is also there. So what kind of advantages does that give you to go to a club with such a strong American presence? Hey, Paul, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it's 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 great to have uh, an American owner, and you know, Chris and I was at uh, World Cup qualifying with him. So, um, yeah, it's great. It makes it makes it a little bit easier, you know, that that I'll have like a a person that I can I can go to and ask him about you know how things work in London and everything, and you know how the how the club works. And yeah, I think it's gonna be great once once I get over there and you know meet all the guys. So. Um, yeah, obviously having Christian on the team as well. I think he's a great character. He's a great person and, you know, super approachable. So I think that's going to help me out a lot once I get there. Have you had a conversation or met the owner yet? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's we were always, uh, you know, talking with my agent and everything. So, yeah, he's a, he's a great guy as well. So I think that, you know, going forward, it's going to be it's going to be great to, to join the club. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Daniel Bosiaga. Daniel, go ahead. Hey, Gaga, this is Daniel Bosiaga, WPNA Polish Radio. How are you? I'm good, Daniel. Thanks for having me. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm good. So there was a lot of rumors regarding your future for quite some time. And as Brian mentioned, whether it was uh, playing for different national teams or switching clubs. Uh, you at the time gave us all the right answers saying that you were focused on playing for the fire. So when it eventually struck you that this was happening, it was real, um, was it difficult to mentally go through that process? Um, to, to be honest, it still doesn't really feel real. You know, it's it's unbelievable joining a big club like that. But yeah, obviously it's, it's, um, it's real now. So I'm, uh, you know, a Chelsea player on loan with the Chicago Fire. So yeah, it's, I have big expectations now, you know, I need to, you know, sharpen the things I do every single day and make sure that, you know, I'm really pushing myself to be the best professional I can be because obviously, you know, playing for Chelsea, you have to, you have to perform, you have to be, you know, professional. So I think that, you know, I'm going to try and show that every single day and make sure that, you know, my mentality and can stay focused on being the best version of myself every single day and, and showing that with the Chicago Fire. Thank you so much. Thank you. Scott Trotter. Hi there. Um, Scott Trotter from Football London. Uh, congratulations on the move once again. Um, yeah, just basically, obviously, I guess we got the idea that Chelsea were kind of chasing you for a little while and then had that kind of chaotic period. I just wondered what it was like for you during that. And then when you've been in London, have you had much chance to speak to the coaching staff and how have the people around the club welcomed you so far? Hey, Scott, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all about, you know, there's going to be lots of moments. It won't be the last time where I have moments like that in my career. So I think that, you know, I've, I've gone through it now. So I know how to how to handle it and how to bounce back from it, because obviously that's the most important. You have to keep playing. You have to stay confident with yourself, with your ability and know that it's just a little bump in the road. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy that that happened, to be honest, because I used it to to learn from it, to make myself better. And yeah, I mean, the, I was talking with uh, the coaching staff there. They're, you know, super excited to have me. I'm super excited to have them, you know, be a part of my team and help me learn and grow as much as possible because obviously they work with the most like elite players in the world. So, you know, obviously if, if I can join that and, you know, learn from every single person there, use use everyone as a teacher, I think that it's only going to make me better as a person and as a footballer. 
and is there anybody uh, in particular looking to working with i mean it's it's going to be amazing working with every single one of those guys but yeah working with like edward mendy like it's going to be unreal to just see how he goes about in training and you know how he handles a ball what he's what he's doing before the play gets to him like it's just going to be analyzing him before before he works you know it's, it's going to be incredible i'm super excited and good luck for the rest of the season thank you very much hernan espinoza hey gaga hernan espinoza nicotia magazine congrats for joining the chelsea uh since the first minute that you played with the fire uh we ask you and i want to ask you again what's the message for the young kids that play in uh, not only chicago but in the old state the illinois uh, that uh, now uh, they have the first uh, goalkeeper 18 years old installed to uh, english premier club league and uh you know having so many players coming from the suburbs of, of chicago thank you Hey, Hernan, thank you for that question. Yeah, I remember the, the first time you asked me that after my debut, and I think my answer is probably going to be quite similar. You know, I think it's all about just, you know, focusing on the path you're on. You know, don't, I don't think you have to compare yourself to others at all because everyone's journey to success is different. You know, a lot of people have it much earlier, a lot of people have it much later. I think if you focus on just getting better every single day and perfecting your craft, I think that you'll go in the right direction, you'll, you'll make the right steps. So I think it's all about believing in yourself, you know, always having the confidence no matter what happens to, to keep going because those those struggles will only make you stronger. So I think that if you stay focused and, and positive, you know, some days are going to be better than others, some days are going to be worse than others. And I think that you just have to stay dialed in, you know, trust the path you're on and, you know, trust that life will, will take you in the right direction. All right, we'll take a couple more. Uh, we'll go back to Brian Sandalo. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, uh, Gaga, um, as you go forward in your career and, you know, you, you continue advancing in the sport, what will it mean to you to kind of carry the flag for Chicago soccer, for the fire, and to be sort of, I guess, an ambassador for the fire and soccer in this area? Hey, Brian, thanks for having me again. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, the what I'm trying to grow is I'm trying to be an inspiration to all the kids, you know, from, from Chicago, from, from the suburbs, because... I'm just a boy from Addison, you know, I've, I don't really have anything, you know, if, if I hadn't put in the work, then no way that any, any of this would have been possible. So I think that, you know, being an inspiration, you know, going overseas and hopefully making a super successful career, career there, because obviously, you know, I have super high goals. I want to become one of the best goalkeepers in the world. And so I think that, you know, if they always know that I'm, I'm from Addison, you know, I'm from the suburbs of Illinois that you know you can do anything you set your mind to so i think yeah carrying always that chicago fire blood in me is, is going to be super big because you know i, I want to inspire kids i want to make sure that they know that you know if you put the work in that you can achieve really big things charles boom hey one more for me i wanted to know what what this has been like for your family how, how was your parents reaction um do you think that you'll move over there solo or is there a chance you'll bring some family with you Hey Charles, thanks for having me again. Um, obviously, they they're super excited. You know, some you know I wouldn't I wouldn't say they're we're all super excited that you know basically on the same level because they're you know they've also put in so many sacrifices and struggled so much with me in my life to get me to where I am today. Because you know without my family, none of this would have been possible. Driving me to training super late, coming back with me super late from trainings. You know, making sure that I was always doing extra, getting private trainings. I think that you know I owe this to them as well. And, you know, I think that, you know, it's, we're still working out like uh, the logistics of everything. So, you know, the closer the time gets, I'm sure we'll figure, figure everything out. Well, thanks. Thank you. All right, we'll go back to Alex Calabrese and then we'll finish with Scott Trotter. Assuming you did have another question, I see your hand is still up. So we'll, we'll go ahead and start with Alex. Go ahead. All right, thanks again, Gaga. Is there, is there anything <clears throat> other than joining Chelsea that you're really excited about in particular and the chance to move to London and England? Hey, Alex, thanks for having me again. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited to, to get to Europe. You know, it's, it's always been a dream of mine to, to play in Europe and obviously play in, the, in one of the best leagues in the world. I think it's just going to be super exciting to finally be, you know, on my own and, you know, finally living, you know, the professional career that, that I've always wanted because it's going to be it's going to be a journey. It's going to be difficult for sure, 
there's going to be super hard moments. There's going to be super amazing moments, and I'm super excited for the journey ahead. All right, great stuff, Gaga. We'll end it there as a few few hands went down. Thank you for your time this afternoon, and safe travels to.